Hey there. Ever feel like you're just swimming in financial news and trying to like keep your head above water? Yeah, it can feel that way sometimes. We're diving deep into a topic you submitted, the US dollar. Good choice, it's been making headlines. It's been crazy strong lately, hitting these highs we haven't seen in ages, and you wanna know what's the big deal, right? It's a great question, you know, even though we use the dollar every day, the forces behind why it goes up, why it goes down, they can seem mysterious, right? Really? <laughs> Luckily, we got the sources you provided, so. Yeah, let's unpack it. You sent over some articles about these highs, so first off, like, what's the inside scoop? Why should we even care? Well, think of the dollar strength kind of like, um, it's like a tide, you know? Okay. It lifts some boats, leaves others kind of stranded. Okay, so give me the good news first. Who's riding this wave? If you're planning a European vacation, you are in luck. Ooh, yes. Always wanted to. A strong dollar, it means your money goes further overseas. Yeah. Your dollars, they'll buy more euros, which makes everything, hotels, even that delicious pasta carbonara, a little more affordable. Wow, see, I did not connect those dots, but now I'm really feeling the urge to book a trip. But you said there was a downside, too. Right. Who's stuck on the sand in this scenario? Unfortunately, it's American businesses, especially those trying to sell their products to other countries. Hold on, it seems counterintuitive. Why wouldn't a strong dollar make American businesses stronger? Not necessarily, no. See, a strong dollar, it makes American products more expensive for international buyers. Mm. Let's say you love those classic American blue jeans. Uh -huh. okay. A stronger dollar means those jeans are suddenly way more expensive for a buyer in, say, Japan. Right, makes sense. This can hurt exports and even like American jobs. Wow. And to make things even more complicated, remember a few years back, all that talk about tariffs on imported goods? Oh, yeah. Hard to miss that in the news. How does that play into all of this? Well, one of the sources, it's a study from Name of Institution that published the study. They argue that those tariffs, while they were intended to protect American businesses, yeah. might have actually contributed to the strong dollar. Wow, see, I never would guess that. Further complicating the whole thing. So it's a strong dollar, it's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which side of the fence you're on. Exactly, it all comes down to how interconnected the global economy is. Even these small shifts, they have ripple effects everywhere. It's fascinating. You got that right. I'm already starting to see the dollar in a whole new light. This deep dive is off to a great start. But before we get too far, let's, uh, Let's get back to it. Let's dive back in. We've been talking about the strong dollar, how it's good for some, not so good for others. But like, how do we even get here? Right. You mentioned the Federal Reserve earlier, and one of these articles you shared talked about interest rates. Mm -hmm. Help me understand this, because frankly, it sounds like, you know, financial jargon soup. I hear you. The financial world loves its jargon. But really, it's just connecting the dots. You know, one of these sources, it's a report from the name of institution that published the report. They explain it this way. When the Fed raises interest rates, it's basically like making the U.S. dollar a more attractive savings account. Okay, so higher interest rates mean your money potentially grows faster. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Right, for people all over the world. So how does that actually like impact the dollar's value, though? So think of it like this. When more people want to put their money, like park their money, in U.S. dollars, because of those high interest rates, they need to exchange their own currency. Right, right? to get those dollars. Right, four dollars. That increases demand, which pushes up the dollar's value. Just like, you know, when everyone wants a popular product, it gets more expensive. Same idea. Makes sense. So the Fed basically has this powerful lever. They do. They can pull it yeah. to influence how strong the dollar is. Powerful lever. But what about the president? You mentioned earlier, like a former president, he talked about how he wanted to influence the dollar. Yes. Where does the president fit into all this? Ah, oh, yes. You're talking about that clip you shared from former president, name of president. Yes. That's where things get really interesting. See, while presidents, they usually try to avoid, like, directly messing with the dollar's value. Too much chaos. Right. It's delicate. They can definitely influence it. Okay. Give me some examples. Okay. Well trade deals remember those blue jeans we talked about yeah yeah the trade deal it can make it easier to export those jeans right and that can increase demand for the u.s dollar from all those international buyers you know they need dollars to get those jeans right more demand for the jeans equals more demand for the dollar Got it. exactly and on the flip side a trade war like we saw a few years ago that can create uncertainty in the market and actually potentially hurt the dollar okay so trade deals those are a big one Anything else? Oh, don't forget about those tariffs we talked about earlier. Oh, right, right, of course. 
their intended goal, it's usually to protect domestic industries, right? Mm. But they can also have unintended consequences. Okay, like what? Like boosting the dollar's value even further, kind of like that name of institution that published the study a study was suggesting. It's fascinating, though. It's like a high-stakes game of chess. It is. Every move has these ripple effects. But unlike chess, the rules are, I feel like, a little more fluid. You've hit the nail on the head. It's all these factors, different economic theories, different players. That's what makes it so engaging, don't you think? Absolutely. Okay, so we've established the dollar. It's a big deal. Huge. It's influencing everything, travel plans, international trade, real power in the global economy. But is this dominant? Is it going to last? Right. Good question. You mentioned something about cryptocurrencies earlier. Right. Possibly like replacing the dollar? Yeah. That's a wild thought. It is a wild thought. So is the dollar going to last forever? Well, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but, you know, some people are talking about it. Really? Yeah, it's a conversation happening in certain circles. It mm -hmm. all comes down to this thing called reserve currency status. Right. It basically means the dollar. It's like the gold standard, mm -hmm. the undisputed champ of global trade. Everyone wants it. So other currencies are just, I don't know, second rate. Not really. It's more like... um the doll it's like the language everyone speaks it's yeah. the currency everyone trusts you know for these big transactions like if you're buying oil yeah even if you're not american you're probably paying for it in u.s dollars interesting so what could like threaten that hmm well one thing is other strong economies okay like china as they grow yeah their currencies could become more attractive makes sense for international trade right so it's like if you're playing a game yeah and you see these new players with these amazing skills yeah. well maybe the original star player has to step up their game that's a good analogy to stay in the lead right right, right. and then there's crypto yes these so articles were talking about cryptocurrencies could they really challenge the dollar it's a hot topic for sure wow Crypto challenges some of the core ideas that keep the dollar where it is, you know? Yeah. It's decentralized, it's transparent, and it's potentially more efficient. But isn't crypto like the Wild West or something? Oh. You got all these coins and platforms, and it seems like there are no rules. Right. It's still early days. Yeah. But as crypto matures, it's impact. It's undeniable. Yeah. So, okay, the dollar is not, like, invincible. Right. It's got some contenders. It does. But we're not talking about a dollar collapse anytime soon, are we? No, not overnight. It's more like adapting to a changing world. Okay. The dollar's strength, it still rests on things like the U.S. economy and just global trust in the financial system. Okay. Those things that can be influenced. So what should our listeners be watching for in the news, like, to really understand where this is all headed? Keep an eye on inflation interest rate decisions by the fed okay and yeah even those trade deals they might seem boring right but they can shift the whole economic landscape right wow and that affects the dollar which affects you what you pay for things every day this has been fascinating i feel like i have such a better grasp on the dollar now good that's what we like to hear and its power and how it impacts us. It's powerful. Really interesting stuff. Thanks for taking a deep dive with us. Of course, anytime. And there you have it. Another deep dive into the world of finance, folks. So what do you think? What would happen if the U.S. dollar wasn't top dog anymore? How would that change things for you? Something to think about.